all alone. I have nobody. I'm here on my own. No, I think I can make a wish. I wish, I wish I wasn't alone with my elf on my tree and you. Please make a wish with me. Wish a little harder. Come on, you're on TMA avoidance now, some of you. Stop procrastinating. We need more people here. No? Yes, we do. Come on in. Woo! Woo! Did you really think I was going to leave you alone soon? Hello? I was just so glad. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad I'm not home alone. Oh, I'm, I would never do that to you, would I? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's Christmas. It Thank is. you, little elf. Thank you, people. And you can get back to procrastinating now. Yeah, no, you're watching us. You're watching and you're listening to so us. So where have you been hiding? Well, first, I had such a such a horrendous journey coming down uh, from Norwich. Oh, and, right. Um, so I've been spending the past two hours driving, navigating traffic. Well, the best part of two and a bit hours, actually, because otherwise people are going to think, oh, what's she, what's she been doing? Um, but yeah, I've had a bit of a busy day with work today. Right. And uh, straight after work, uh, I handed over the children to my husband and made my way down to Milton Keynes to yes. be with you. Yes, because we haven't been together for... What is it, about six months since the last radio show we it, were together? Yeah, it's been six months. And, and can you tell I've had withdrawals? <laughs> can you tell? Does it, does it show up my face? But I haven't been here for six months. And I know, been... yes, because you weren't here the last time. Yeah. I've, I've done one in, in Sep- between. September, I wasn't it? Freshers. Freshers. Yes. yes, and I missed that, sadly. Yes. But we, we did conference together, didn't we? And we that was did. awesome. So that's our last time. How have you been, though? I've been fine, been fine. I, it was nice and foggy this morning. And, and it gradually cleared as I was coming down because I've come down from North Wales um, yes. today on the wow. train. So hang on, I'm confused. Normally you come from up north. So how, how come were you in, in North Wales then? Um, at home, up home up there now. Because oh. yeah, so it's uh, it was a, a bit of a bit of a journey. Wow. Not not too bad. Wow. And the train actually wasn't too cold for a change so uh, and you didn't experience any any problems on no route? no delays oh which is uh, which is really good oh, so that's good. Uh, that's good and so, it's always nice and i got here on time ah that's good well, well. let's let's try and be positive then yes. and let's try and, and bring some positivity about about trains and about traffic and about all of that let's put that behind us and let's let's look forward to tonight's show shall yes. we so what do you think we should just be chatting about uh... i think i think we, we should just have a nice chat between us and invite the students to sending their comments yes to begin got, with that'd be great yes we yes we do need input from any of you mm. students who are listening in ask us any questions because no question is a silly question um it might be something that you're worried about thinking about need to know are confused by we don't do TMAs, do we? No. 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 So we can't write your assignments for you. No, no, that we can't do. But we can provide plenty of co- uh, encouragement and support, can't and support, we? And that's yes. one of the things we're going to talk about in tonight's show, I think, isn't and it? And that's because, in case any of you haven't noticed, sort of the Christmas festive time is coming up. Trees, snowflakes, mm-hmm. tinsel. Um and it can be an even more isolating time for students, can't it? Yeah, yeah. And we're going to talk about that tonight in tonight's show. But um, let's have an overview as to how the show is going to pan out for our students, because some of them might be thinking, when is it I'm going to get my, my, my cup of tea or whatever beverage they're having? Yes. There will be opportunities for you to dip in and out if you wish. Uh, this will be recorded uh via Facebook Live, which some of you are watching already. Yes. But if you if you need to watch this at a later time, it will be uploaded on the website, on the Students' Association website. I'm glad um, you know these things. See, if I'd have been on my own. That's what friends are for. <laughs> that's what friends are for. So feel free. If you need to dip in and out, uh, this <clears> show will be available. And for you watching live tonight, we're going to talk about a few things, including events, because yes. a lot of things are coming up, aren't they, Sue? And you're well, a lot of to... things have happened. A lot of things are coming up. Yeah. You know, ever the busy students that we are. Yeah. Um, support, as we've said, because yep. that is the, the major thing, really, um, during this festive season. Yeah. 
and including during christmas day folks so obviously we'll have some yes. of that covered but stay tuned so you can find out a little bit and how about to stay that. in touch yeah. where to find the information and just generally just chat yeah and, and uh, have a nice time and have a nice time we do have two special guests though tonight haven't we we're very fortunate to have two newbie students mm. who i believe um have just submitted their first tmas <gasps> dun, dun, on different dun. modules TMAs. and um so they're in the that waiting period for yeah. results that that anxiety where we yeah. all we all wait and we wonder and we hope we've But it will be lovely to hear from the students who start, who listened in yeah. on the um, September Fresher show mm. who possibly might be on their second assignment submission. Yeah. And um, obviously they they should have received results for, for at least one of their assignments. So how was the wait for that? Maybe you want to... Um, Comment or discuss that? Com- yes. Yeah. Um, so... It would be quite interesting to see the contrast from a month or two ago and for the students now and yourself with, with your studies and, and where you're at and me in reminiscent history mode of yes. of, of where I was at. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it would be a, an be exciting time. Yeah, it would be interesting to discuss that. So what's coming up then, Sue? Well, we've also got, um, I don't know whether you're aware, I would hope you're aware, that we do the, the student magazine. Oh, yeah. And we've got a couple of articles that were have been written by by students um, in that, and how um, their studies and their life and how they've intertwined them and who's supported them and who's backed them and and it would be nice actually as well because obviously we'll we'll find out who's supported them where you can go if you haven't particularly got support because we mm. are aware that some students are out there on their own aren't yeah, they? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And or lack of support. Yeah. Even if they've got family members, they still might not have the support. Yeah. And it's yeah, so there's there's some meaty bits on looking at different ways of of being a student and and getting through um, the next couple of months or, or the rest of your, your learning your studying, journey. Yeah, studying journey, absolutely. Yeah, I, do, so, I do feel that's, that's a very important point you're raising. And, and obviously, um, the magazine is there being sent to all of us, isn't it? So yes. all we need to do is to subscribe on the website. And yes. we need to go on to www.ousstudents.com. And uh, everything you need is there. The information is there. Do subscribe because the magazine comes through on on a regular basis. You know, yes, I think it's. I think it may have been out about a week now. Mm. And um, if it isn't in your normal inbox, it could be in your junk box, your spam box. And if it's not there, then it will be on the on the website. Website to look at. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's worth a read. Yeah. Um, if you want to contribute an article, perhaps you after reading some of it think oh yes I, my my story is might be a good one then get in contact with them yes, and absolutely. get your get your word and maybe your picture in print yes or even an inspiring just simply an inspiring story is something yeah. that i i really enjoy i don't know about you sue but i really enjoy reading other people's stories and there's there's adrian wallin's uh, story adrian wallin's is featured in in we'll talk about it more later but um he is featured in in the, yes. the edition that I'm holding in my hand and uh, yeah inspiring person like every single OU student that I know I don't know anyone who hasn't gone through amazing life-changing experiences yeah. through studying at the Open University we're an amazing bunch aren't we we are so crackers look yes, at this we need to crackers. bring a festive aspect to our show tonight should, should we, we put our first one we I think we should right. what and, number and have we win. got we've got come in number 11 right hang on I'm, One, I never win. So two, three. three. Oh, oh, I so won. I, you. I won. <laughs> oh, here you go. I don't even get the hat. Oh, What's you can it? have the toy. Uh, yes, please. But I do like a toy. Go. I do like a cracker's toy. Right. Oh, look. Look, right. I've got cards. Here we go. So you've got a joke to read. I've got to know that joke now. Right. Here we go. What do vampires sing on New Year's Eve? What do vampires sing on New Year's Eve? Do you look as confused as I am right this second? Old Fang sign. 
Don't you love a good Christmas Christmas cracker joke, don't yes. you? That uh, some of them I can't, I can't quite get, but then again, perhaps I've got the excuses that some of them have got an, a cultural aspect and they get lost on me, being that I'm I'm a French person. But hey, there you go. Um, yes. Let's yes. let's move on, shall we? And and perhaps talk about uh, our study calendar. What's going on with that? Well, your study calendar, which hopefully... Oh, I'm, look at me rustling. I'm getting ready for Christmas and I, unwrapping presents. I, I think you should wear that hat. Oh, it won't fit, but we'll attempt it. Are, are you like me and you've got... Because like, I've yeah. got a big oh, head. I yeah, look, they, here they we go. Fit on me. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Prepare to rip. <laughs> Prepare. Oh, yeah. well, oh. at least it Ta-da. sits on yours. Yes. It sits on yours. I, I, I've only I ever had one bottom... cracker. That's actually cracker hat that's gone round. Really? Well, I bet you my bottom dollar that the next one, if I wear it, it's never going to fit on my head. They always fall out for some reason. Oh. I don't know if I've got a big head. Am I big headed? Is it a no use student trait? (laughs) We are, to be honest. Answers, please. I I can't quite think whether my my head is big with the knowledge that I'm acquiring through my studies or whether it's just the the sheer chaos that goes on on a daily basis. I have got winter hair because it has turned cold. Has it really? Yes. Mm. Yeah, and when you came in, you were cold. I yeah, I was I was freezing. I'm just touching my to just kind of like assess what's going on with mine. I right, haven't got and, I haven't got my focus. fuzzy hair today. We've thankfully. got to focus. Yes, we do. I have the hat of focusness on. You do. Um, you very yes, wise indeed. The, the study calendar. Yes. Yes. It's your guide on your learning journey, isn't it? It's it is. Yeah. Whether or not you're slightly ahead of it, in line with it, or behind. Am I am I allowed? To, is my tutor watching? Please, please don't say. I hope she's not. <laughs> I'm the one that always runs behind. I don't a long know way how, behind, or um, generally a week or two. I, I I think that's perhaps common practice amongst us. But um, yeah, generally a, fi- a week of or two. I had a catch up week. I had a catch up week, and I've not been able to catch up. What does that say about me? Well, it says right. I'll tell you what it says that. Got children, work full time, and trying to just simply have a rest in the evenings sometimes. Yeah. yeah, I think we downtown downtime is really really important, isn't it? We I think I think on. so, but and I think possibly um, you see it as a way of keeping you slightly on track. Yeah. So if you yeah. know you're only a week behind, it's not too scary in yeah. the first instance. But it also could then say to you, hang on, you need to contact your tutor yeah. or your student yeah. support team yep. and say things aren't going as well quite, as they should. Quite to plan. Yeah. To be honest, I've, I've, I've done that, this module. This is my last module, as some of you know, and you know, Sue, yeah. this is my last module. And it's a scientific one. And there's been a, a lot of changes. Obviously, we have to talk about what's happened the past six months between us. But... I've done that. I emailed my tutor, yeah. and the tutor was extremely good, you know, yeah. about what I stated because some of the reasons are very personal to each of us, aren't they? Yes. About why we are behind and why we are struggling at a particular moment in time. Um, and and yet again, I had nothing but support, absolute support from the tutor to say. How how long was it when you before you thought, gosh, I need to seek support? How many days, weeks? I generally try to, if, if certainly if a TMA deadline is approaching, and I know I'm not going to be able to meet that yeah. because because there's too, too much going on or my mind is not in the right place for it or, or whatever, um, I generally try and tell the tutor in advance, which is what right. I've done. So I've left it perhaps, did I leave it maybe a week before the due yeah. date? I was well into the TMA, but I knew with the amount of stuff that was going on, I wasn't going to meet that yeah. deadline. So I think it's, uh, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't advise students to leave it too late. I would say to them, try and think ahead, you know, try and see, uh, try and see if you're going to meet that yeah. target. And, and certainly if you feel that you're not going to, t- going to do that for one reason or another, tell the tutor straight away, tell them as early Have as you can. Have you been initially worried about contacting the tutor about that? At the very beginning I was. 
I must confess, uh, I don't think I did ask for a deadline during my first, very first module. I don't think I ever asked for a deadline then. Right. I don't think I did because I was too scared of doing it and perhaps a bit like, oh, you know, come on, you need to do this, you know, get on with it. Uh, but, but that's not the right attitude, really, because telling yourself get on with it just adds more pressure yeah. on, your, on yourself, yeah. doesn't it? And, and so I wasn't in the right frame of mind then to understand that actually, no, you need to be doing things that you are going to be able to fulfill. And that, that means sometimes being honest with yourself and saying, there's no way I'm going to meet this. Uh, and, and so I started asking for deadlines, perhaps the second module on. Yeah. And, and it becomes something that was quite matter of fact. You know, it's quite matter of fact among, among the community, isn't it? That yeah. it's okay to ask for a deadline. You know, you don't have to suffer on your own and you don't have to be, you know, thinking of giving up your studies. Please don't. Don't ever. Oh, yeah, definitely. Don't, don't think ever, of... ever. I, I, that's, you know, I wouldn't want anyone to feel that way. I'd... I'd I'd ask them to seek support and talk about it. Well, I think it. in your in your first year, if again, if you started as a fresher mm. in the, in the September October time, that you're still on that learning to be a student with the OU, aren't yeah. you? At, at this point, so maybe you started off studying in the morning and that didn't work out, so you've chopped and changed it to yeah. later in the day, and. Do you feel awkward about whatever time you study? And it's like, whatever time suits you, and for however long, that will be your your study time. Exactly. And you, you, you try and slot it into your other life yeah. of homework, caring, responsibilities, and everything else that's going yeah. on, isn't it? Yeah, so. completely. Completely. Life gets in the way as well. You know, whenever you make plans also is... You make all these wonderful plans and you, you, you think to yourself, I'm going to stick to doing this then. Yeah. But life gets in the way. So sometimes it's about being flexible and adapting and thinking, as you said, chopping and changing yeah. and being reasonable and, and, and honest with yourself. Yeah. You know, for me, for me, that's something I, I know it might not work with everybody. But for me, it's really important to say, to be truth to myself and to, true to myself and to be truthful and to say, hang on a minute, you're trying to take yeah. on too much and, and that's only going to go wrong if you do so. So just think about what you need to prioritise yeah. and just deal with everything you can. I've heard over the years quite, quite a few students have sort of um, sort of said they, they were very nervous about contacting their tutor for mm. uh, support and, and whatever. And then once they'd done it, it was like, oh, well, I can do that again because... Yeah they yeah. were really nice yeah um and that's the important thing is the students as you yeah. say who are in that situation are anxious and nervous know and understand that actually tutors expect us to do that yeah. sometimes you know they know that we are a, a very as i said we are a force to be reckoned with aren't we i did yeah. say that and i mean that we are we are an incredible community and we are juggling so much you know so, so if much. you've contacted um your tutor for those of you who haven't ever contacted your tutor and you might not know how to contact your tutor, do you just want to explain from yes. your student homepage perspective? Absolutely. So when you access your, hopefully before you even begin your module, I, d I know some students might be watching thinking, oh, that didn't happen to me. Right, hold on. Sometimes, or hopefully, the tutor would have emailed you in advance to yeah. make contact with you. I know I know some students say it didn't happen with them, and, and, and obviously some students uh, had that, that experience. But generally, they do contact you, and they do leave you contact details, including an email. Now, if you are like me, and you are thoroughly snowed under with everything, and you may have lost said email, or it's... Is buried under a thousand other emails <laughs> that you have read once upon a time, but you haven't really done anything with. You then go onto your student homepage, right? Um, and you log in as normal, get onto your student homepage, and you will see on your screen tutor or tutor details or, or something about your tutor. In the middle and blue contact. bit, is it? Yeah, that's the middle bit. Uh, and I think they also appear once you're on your module page. Right to the right on mine it does i believe where you have you know contact your tutor so you can do it that way you can simply click and it will send an email automatically to your tutor so all you do is you fill in that box and more type, importantly type where would you find send. the response that the tutor is expected to send you yes that, that comes through in your mailbox so whichever whichever 
email address you regi registered with the OU, then make sure that that is an active one, one that you are looking at, not like me with two, three email addresses and one is my very, very, very important one yeah. and one is a lesser and the other one is just junk mail, people have, not people, but things like yeah. I don't really want so to be you, involved you with... you also need to check which email, which email that you've comes given. Through. Yeah. To me, it comes on a, on a specific one that I know I'm checking regularly. So it's right. really important that's an email address that you are going to regularly and not one of your secondary email addresses that you just get yeah. spam mail to and you don't look at for a while. So they, they normally reply to you and also they should have your contact details. So uh, some tutors, my tutor this year said when uh, they were working, so they, they highlighted their working hours and said, you can contact me by telephone at these times. Right. So obviously that doesn't work for you. you just send an email and then yeah. get in touch that way. I even. suppose send an email in the first instance yeah. because they, your tutors too are working and yeah. That's doing what other I things do. and having a life. Um, and then you can put it all down in that email, can't you? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So that, that, that's the staying in touch bit where you, you really stay in touch with your tutor when you need yeah. to. But it's also important to stay in touch with your student community too, oh, isn't yes. it? And and we wanted to talk a bit about that as well, about the the support available and and how as students we can simply be there for each other yeah. when when we need yeah. it. Isn't I've it? got a lovely poster about looking after yourself over the Christmas period. I love that. Yeah. So so we've got we peer got? support. We've got Big White Wall, we've got the Samaritans, mm -hmm. and we've got Nightline, and we've got www.oustudents.com forward slash support. That's brilliant. So peer support then, can we just elaborate a bit and expand on what these things are? I mean, everyone hopefully would have heard about the Samaritans, but our peer support and the Nightline yeah. then... Well, the peer support is obviously on your access to your student homepage. Mm -hmm. um, on your student homepage, occasionally, on if I recall, on the right-hand side at the top, up comes a little flashing, changing messages box as well. So I have seen it occasionally come up on that. Yeah. And that's um, an online um, student-to-student -student support system that's been set up and is running successfully and um is a great way and possibly i would say your first port of call yeah um true uh because it's obviously other students helping s to support you um yes very very beneficial service yeah and as as fellow students we often have the answer to something that that you may question or may some worry or or, or something that's making you feel a bit anxious yeah. about about you know your studies or or even our, our lives really it's something that's making us feel down or, uh, or or anxious and we can talk it through with another student i find that helps a lot doesn't it because sometimes even if you've got family you might not want to speak to them about it they might not even understand what your issues are no they might true. even be questioning why you're studying and to be able to speak to somebody else about whatever the issue is which once you've possibly talked about it will sort of lessen sort of perhaps the overload that it's giving you at, at that precise moment in in your life absolutely absolutely um, and then yeah. we've got the night line haven't we night line is another yes. specific um uh, support area of support and and our 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 support support well volunteers I suppose because yeah. they are volunteers aren't they are trained and uh, treat things in confidentiality also don't they so um, that is also something that's available and as it says nightline so at any any hour uh, obviously yeah and that's um, closed from the fourteenth of December until the 7th of January mm -hmm. so it's more of a sort of term time um, way of contacting them um, but again it's uh, email yeah and I think they Skype as well yeah um, so there's different ways of getting in contact with them yeah and again it's just talking about any issues that that worry you or, or absolutely. whatever absolutely absolutely and then one that we talked about um, on a previous radio show was the Big White Wall, which had, from what I understand, quite a good uptake um, relatively quickly. Oh, that's really um, good. 
That's very so good. we can send details and, and post them um, online for you mm -hmm. about the big white wall, well, as as all of them are. Yeah, it proves people are <clears throat> engaging, aren't they? It proves and I think sometimes are... it's about finding what support suits you. Yes. Because it might be that you'd use a one-off peer support or that you might want a continuing thing. Mm -hmm. It might be in the night line that you're up at two, three o'clock in the morning um, when the you know, and you need to drop off an email to somebody. Yeah. yeah. Um, the big white wall, I think, is a little bit more interactive, and that's what you want or you need. Um, perhaps more peers um, within within the support system, mm -hmm. and then obviously the Samaritans. Yeah, wonderful. Um, also, yeah. And I think sometimes. It like your learning journey and everything else. It is finding the one that suits you. Yeah. And if it means going to one, and then trying a different one, and then thinking, oh yes, that actually works for me. Um, that's okay. That is okay to to try. Absolutely. It's, uh, There's no right or wrong way of doing of doing things. You know, yeah. it's 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 about us being um, able to to express our feelings and yeah. and to reach out yeah. um, and to talk to people who aren't necessarily related to us, as you highlighted, because you want you, an impartial you want, absolutely sort of, um, discussion it, chat. Yeah. Um, with people sometimes who who aren't going to sort of come back at you and exactly. sort of remember and 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 yeah. do, yeah. so yes, yeah, so there is lots so and lots of support of these out things. there. Make use um, make use make use if you if you feel I, and I, I I encourage you to do that because I myself had had to have support many times. So, you know, it's been a very very tough tough time for for myself and for other people. I know I know a lot of people who are struggling. And and it, it it's about being honest again, yeah. you know, and about being being simply reaching out to people and then, to the, yeah. to people who don't have anything to do with you because that way you feel more comfortable discussing what's what's bothering you. And I think sometimes, like now, we're getting dark at three, four o'clock mm. in the in the evening. It's. I mean, I, I think last night it was seven o'clock, and I actually thought it was about eleven o'clock at night. I was I'm, actually ready, I know. ready for bed it at can, seven o'clock at night. It can get really depressing. And and it was like, oh, and I was a bit flummoxed as to what to do till effectively bedtime. Mm. Um, and anyway, I I managed to sort of fill the evening and and stuff. But if if you're on your own or you've got nobody, or even if you're in a house full of people, sometimes you can still feel. Feel alone, isolated so. completely yes. absolutely so, so really do you think important. we need a break soon? i think we will do yeah i think um we will do uh, obviously christmas day we do have you covered so please check in online yeah. uh, there will be uh, help and, and and activities available for you if you are alone at christmas do not feel that you need to be alone students association and the students will be uh, organizing things for yeah. for you and for us all of us um, but yes, first yeah, we need a break. Yeah, it's time to put the kettle on, make I a think mince so. pie. Cup of tea. Have a bit um, of, is it supper time? Oh yes, yeah, some of you might probably. be having a supper. So if we leave you uh, with a nice uh, video that's going to be, I believe, our president, Kath Brown, isn't it? Yes. Uh, discussing uh, some interesting things, I'm not going to say, because you want to watch for yourself. With Sammy. With Sammy. So uh, we are going to leave you watching this, and unless you want to dip out, as I said, and want to do something yes. else. That's absolutely Is it fine. time to walk the and dog? We will see you. Is it time to pick up your book for study? Time Indeed. to have a cup of tea. No, no, leave the study alone. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't listen to Sue. Come back to us. Tune back in in about seven and or eight minutes' note, time. And please note the elf is currently here. He's. When we come back, the elf. It's looking that way. So it's may staring have at moved. Oh yes. It yes. Might. Yeah, we will so see. So we might we might just get the elf moving. I'm I'm getting a bit. <laughs> is he watching? Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> Can you see that look? Am I and if any of you've got an elf on a shelf, why not send in some pictures on oh, our that would be quite, other quite, forms of communication? Because we've got see. Instagram and stuff, we haven't do. we? We do. We do all of that. Or if you've we? got a Christmas tree, send in a picture of your tree. Perhaps if you've got animals like a cat or a dog, and it's been. I my face lit festive. up when you talked about cats. Yes, pets. Buddies, they're the best. Yes. Yeah. yeah, please send them, send them in. We want to see all of that. So we're going to leave you watching this and we will see you in about eight minutes time. 
Hello and welcome, we're at um, OU Students HQ in Milton Keynes and today I'm with Kath. Hi, I'm Kath Brown, I'm President of the Students Association and probably more importantly for this, I've been an OU student for 10 years now and I've done two and a half degrees, so wow. I'm an OU addict, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> OU addict, I love that. So I work in the student support team but I'm also a student and I started studying in May um, and I actually have a TMA due on the 6th of December, so what we'd like to do is talk about how to approach your first TMA. Oh, tense time, isn't it, coming up to that? Yeah, definitely. Ooh. So we've got a few tips, I think, have we? Yes, so um, you've come up with five, haven't you? And if you'd like to tell us a little so, bit more about those, that would be lovely. Certainly will. So the first one was starting good time. And it sounds obvious, doesn't it, that you don't want to be rushing into it at the last minute. And I know some people out there really do rush it at the last minute, but that's a bit of a recipe for stress. Is that you? Oh, oh yeah, I'm yeah. getting better. <laughs> Good. It's a bit of a recipe for stress, isn't it, really? I mean, I understand not wanting to work until you get close to the deadline, but if you kind of kid yourself the deadline was like three days earlier, then you've still got a bit of margin, haven't you? The reason I always say that is not just because it makes you feel stressed and you can't think straight, but it's quite good to be able to come back to it a day or so after and just read through, see if you've done anything daft. Mm, that's mm. a good tip. Okay, mm. and what's the next one? Next one, it has to be the really, really important one, is about talking to your tutor. There's so many students out there who act like they're, they're still at school and their tutor is this really horrible, scary teacher who's coming to get them all the time. It ain't like that. We're all adults. They want you to succeed. And, okay, they can't tell you what the answers are, but at least if you talk to them early and say, look, I'm not quite understanding how to do it, then they'll be able to give you a bit of a hint. If you're really running behind, life has been against you, they might be able to arrange an extension. But just get in touch with them early, get to know them. They really, really can be your best friend at the OU. Funny you say that, actually, because I noticed um, sometimes that a tutor can then point you to like the bits that are crucial for your TMA. Absolutely, yeah. And also point you to like the resources that the library have, so like how to reference or how to think critically and how to write critically. So they're all useful pointers, really, that a tutor can uh, help you kind of with those. Uh, and what next? Then? Well, I think one of the really important ones, in fact, I've kind of got two together, is about don't expect to be perfect. We all want to do our best, we're all kind of thinking, oh no, I've, I've really tried so hard for this, I want a top mark, but realistically, you're not going to get 100% very often, and realistically, we're all here to learn, aren't we? We start out, we don't know, we're not an expert about it yet, so don't expect yourself to be perfect, give it your best, but don't beat yourself up. And the other one is don't compare yourself to others. It doesn't matter if someone else there has got 90%, so what? That's nice for them, be glad for them. It's like. Suppose you've got unfit me here and I decide to start running. No, this isn't going to happen, guys, but just imagine, okay? Now, I shouldn't get upset if I can't run as fast as someone who's been running and in training for ages, should I? And it's the same thing here. You might have someone else in there, they've spent ages and ages and ages on it, they've got all the time in the world, they've been studying for years and years. So what if you don't get as much as them? It doesn't matter. Just think about your aims. Yeah, Not focus on your, own, on your own being. That's the Absolutely most important thing, yes. And, and that's the point. You need to be, be realistic, give it your best, never beat yourself up, don't compare. Brilliant. I love that. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that. Excellent. Learn for it. The key thing about a TMA, they've actually learned there to learn for, from, rather. I know it feels a bit sometimes like someone's judging us and... Again, it, you get very intense about it. But the most important thing about any TMA is the feedback that you get there from your tutor. Yeah. Now, I've seen a few people around and they get the mark back and they're a little bit disappointed and they can't face looking at it. But the thing to do then is to just give yourself a bit of a break, have coffee, have a nice bar of chocolate or piece of cake or something stronger if uh, it's that time of day and you feel so inclined. And we do, yes, so uh, <laughs> odd <gin>. And <laughs> Come back to it in a day or so when you've had a chance to get your disappointment out of your system mm -hmm. and then go through it and just read it carefully, read every single little bit of feedback and don't take don't take it personally that mark. That tutor is marking your word, they're not marking you, they're not saying you're not an adequate That's person. Very true. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah, so they're marking they're marking your word. Look at every single little bit of feedback. Make a note of really important points so you can use them next time. And if you don't get it, you know what I'm gonna say? Ask your tutor again. There you go. <laughs> so you know, remember they're on your side, they're there to help you, and the feedback is there to help you learn and grow. Imagine if you're learning to drive and your driving instructor is telling you about how to improve your turn and road. You're going to try and do it, aren't you? Mm. That's how you're going to get, get to learn to pass your driving test. You're not going to say, no, 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 I'm better. So make sure you take it on board, even if it's a little bit hard to at times. 
And I think that's really one of those things that remember TMA is the main function is to learn from, not yeah. to be judged, to learn from. Fantastic. So actually that feeds nicely into your next tip, which is about how to recover when things don't go so well. That's right, yes. I mean, you always can recover. It is not the end of the world. There are so many OU students out there. In fact, I'd suspect every single OU student out there has had a disappointing TMA. They've maybe had a disappointing module. Even with, you know, I know someone personally who's had a couple of cases where she's failed a module and she's now doing her doctorate. So, fantastic. Yep, there's absolutely no reason to be downhearted if things go a little bit wrong. That's just one of those setbacks that's part of life. And you can do things about it. Yeah. So, actually, there's also um, services available for when things don't go so well with students, isn't there? Um, could you tell us a bit more about those? Of course. Well, with the OU, obviously, we've got student support teams. So, if you think that you're concerned that things are going quite badly wrong and you want to talk to them as well as your tutor, then they're, they're there. We've also, obviously, got the services we have in the association. So, we've got our peer support service. Now, that's all anonymised. There's no reason to feel embarrassed or anything like that. But if you'd like to chat things through with someone who understands exactly how it is to be an OU student, that's a really, really useful service. And we've relaunched that this year, haven't we? We have, yes. Um, and also, it's really important to say that service is run... Well, it's uh, delivered by OU students, and it's completely confidential. So you won't know who you're, who you're talking to and what you say does remain. Uh, is kept private. Uh, and then we also have Nightline. We do, we're affiliated to Nightline and that runs at, the night, at night, like it says. What is it? Is it 6 6 It's 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. through term time. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just phone that up, basically. As an OU student, you're in a position to phone that up if you want to have a chat to someone. And I think the night works really well because that's often when we do get a little bit stressy. You're sitting there, you're feeling absolutely sure. desperate. You can't get your head around this. I guess it's the time if you're feeling stressed and you can't sleep, then actually, you know, that's a, a great number to call, isn't it? Because then you can relay some of your like worries and your anxieties and actually people, there's someone there to listen to and help talk through um, your concerns. And that's all manned by students, isn't it? Not all our students, it is. but it's manned by students. That's true. So yeah. people who absolutely get what it's like to be worried. Basically, like students are amazing, volunteers are amazing. We just need to keep using them services, don't we? We do. And we've got a nice new one from the OU called Big White Wall as well, haven't we? we? Yeah. Which is about um, mental health issues. And right. if you've got an OU email, you can just sign up to that. And it's all online. So that's another way to get a bit of extra support. And we've had quite a lot of OU students signing up to that already. And we're getting very, very good feedback about how useful it is. So if you're, you're feeling you've got an issue with your mental wellness, that might be a really good place to go. Mm -hmm. Sure, and you can actually access that information through our OUStudents.com um, website. So if you go to the student support section and on the drop down there's a, a tab called Big White Wall and it's got all the information there about how you can access that service. Um, so actually we'd like to offer you the chance to ask some questions as well. Uh, if you do have any, please leave them below in the comment section and we'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, and if we don't know the answer, we will try and find the answer and get back to you. We certainly will. Thanks for watching. Brilliant. Thank you. Bye. And welcome back to studio. For, uh, we're back here in Milton Keynes for the festive edition and the Christmas edition. Ho, yes. ho, ho. <laughs> As you can see, we've got the tree there. And, um, and <clears throat> what's happened to him? Or oh, them? Oh, yes. Yes. Elf has moved. Oh. I don't remember. No, I don't remember. I don't remember either. doing that, did you? Scary. It's a scary oh, it's, elf. It's a bit spooky. There's, there's really spooky things going on around here, I think, folks. We're going to. Yeah, we'll get um, to the bottom of it. Yeah, we will. But, but, Look welcome to our guest, our first guest tonight. <laughs> yes. We've got Jodie with us. Hi, Jody. Jody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to our edition, yes, Christmas our edition. Festive. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> We're happy to have you. So Jody, could you could you introduce yourself to, to our fellow students and just explain sure. why you're here? Um <laughs> I'm Jody and I've just done my well this is my I'm currently doing my first modules at OU. I just had my dreaded first TMA deadline last Ooh. Friday. And I'm currently in that lovely period of waiting for my results. Um 
I've got no clue how I've done. Yeah. Uh, so um, I'm doing. So what faculty are you studying? What are you studying? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in a STEM in STEM. So the uh, faculty of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Oh, well done. Thank That's you. A challenge. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm doing wow. U one hundred and one, which is create uh, design thinking yeah. uh, colon uh, creativity in the twenty first century. I don't know if that bit's really important, but it's there. Um, <laughs> so it's all about looking at different ways of thinking, kind of maybe taking it back. I quite like it because it reminds me of being a child. Oh, right. <laughs> um, because it's all about looking at a problem and not worrying about what the right answer has to be, but maybe just exploring, you know, all the different possibilities about it. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of reopened my eyes to different ways of going about things. So... It's split into four blocks at the moment. Um, I've just done block one, which was about design and me. Um, so I had to design a t-shirt. Wow. Um, based off my uh, based off my hand. Um, so I had to go through the whole process of um, exploring it, uh, conceptualising it, and then um, actually producing, making the thing. Wow. Um, so quite a lot of computer data usage as well, is it? And, um, and technology? It is. So there's a lot of online aspects in terms of we have like an online studio because we're not all students aren't in a studio. So we put um, put all of our design work or um, scribbles or thoughts onto like this. Um, it's called Open Design Studio. So yeah. you kind of pin it to this board and everyone else can see it as well. Is it like a virtual learning environment? So a virtual classroom? Um, a bit. It's a bit like... Concept? A bit like Pinterest, you know how oh, you yeah. can pin things on there. So it's Yay. almost like there's a giant cork I've board. Seen Pinterest right. yeah. so imagine a giant cork board and everyone yeah. pin like puts on their latest design. That's yeah. kind okay. of what it is. Right. Um, so very interactive module then. Yes. Right. So I didn't get any like books or anything in my module, but I did get this box. It's called the Lola box. Only because if you turn U101 upside down, it kind of spells out Lola in right. the way that they designed ah, it. Right. Yeah, <laughs> um, and we got this like uh, when I first got it, this random assortment of things. So in there was a T-shirt. I didn't realise at the time that that's yeah. what I'm having to do. There's some masking tape, a set of cards, a pencil, a ruler, um, masking tape, and all these bits. And all on them were things like, this is not just masking tape. It reminded me of the m &S advert. Where this is not just, <laughs> <laughs> not just yeah. a Christmas wedding. Yeah. This is the yeah. most yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then, like, so before you started, like, the first thing they did was uh, they gave us a lot of activities to do with it. So my housemates must think I'm mad because I had to ask one of them to lay down. I had to draw around them with the masking tape. Right. Um, and when they stood up, I was like... A bit oh. like a crime scene. Yeah, it was just like a crime scene on the, on the floor of my room. And they were like, oh, so this is your course. And I was like, yeah. yep. Yeah, this is... Who knew study could be such fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the cards had to build a deck of... Like a, um, a house of cards as, as high as you can. I got to two and then panicked and took a photo and it fell. So it was good. <laughs> um, I haven't built one in ages. It was. Oh. I'm not very good at it. I'm not, oh. I wasn't good at it. They gave me instructions. That it was all about trying to find different ways of doing it, which yeah. was... Mm. But, yeah. Um, and then I was. And I thought I was doing great. I was going well because I heard you talking about TMAs and your study plan earlier. Yeah. And I was sticking to it. And then I had like a, week, a really busy week in life and yeah. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Um, so I kind of missed a week. So I was about a week and a half behind. And then the TMA was just there. And I was like, oh boy, <laughs> it's time to uh, get going. And yeah, so the last week of my TMA was very much go, go, go. The whole so how, time. Did you, how did you manage that? Do you, do you, so do, I, do, you, do you juggle? How, what, in which ways do you struggle, uh, juggle with your, your studies? What, what is the day-to-day -day life, life um, for you like? So I I kind of wish I'd maybe gone back to the beginning and planned it a bit more succinctly. I'd always been like, oh, so I work m mostly nine to five on a weekday. Uh -huh. um, I also do sports outside of it. So I play rugby and hockey. Oh, so that's you can't take your computer on those. No, no. Can you? no. no. <laughs> yes. uh, so that's like Great. two evenings out and then the weekends because I play on the weekends and train on the weekdays. Right. Yeah, so that's uh, your weekend study going then, that's out yeah. the window. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're not every weekend, but a lot mm -hmm. of it. Um, mm -hmm. And so it was kind of fitting it all around those. I sometimes volunteer as well. So right, wow. right. It, <laughs> so it was very much a... Do you sleep? 
No, um, no actually, <laughs> I don't sleep. Um, I think that's that's where I find my time. I go, yeah. I go, yeah, I don't need no, that. Need that. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that's not what you need there. Sure. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so I I realise I really should stick to the planner more, yeah. like and not think oh, I'll be okay. I'll catch up next yeah. week because. I could have, and I, and I didn't. Of course, is there a chance for you to to catch up? Are you aware on your on your study calendar being a newbie? Yes. So there's there's two. Ca- there's actually two, and I've made use of one of them. So after a TMA, they give us a week of um, either looking back and finishing things off, or looking forward to catch oh, up. All right, oh, that's good. It's quite a nice course. And then there's Christmas, where they've put it as a holiday. Which I will be using as oh, yes. get to your next TMA done because oh, yeah. it's in January. <laughs> so you're going to be stirring yeah. the gravy That's what with I your do. with your <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm making this time because I've actually got a day school tomorrow. Oh, oh right, is, is this your first day school? No, so this will be my second day school. Oh, how did wow. the first one go? It was really really good. I'm really glad I went. It was a bit further out, so I'm based in Milton Keynes, right. and it was in Reading, so not not too bad. I trained it across. Um, how, how long was that on a train journey? Uh, so it's into London and back out. So about two hours. Right. Maybe. Did you study? <laughs> yes, actually. Oh, well done. Well done. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I had a book on. I was like, better do something out of this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, make use of a time effectively. I was, we do that, don't we? Yeah. That's what I found is um, yeah. if anything I've learned is to do my study in between things, not yeah. just try and leave it to the day to do, like yeah. just constantly yeah. try and chip away. Um, but yeah, no, my my day school was really good. It I got to meet my tutor, so it was nice to put a face to his name. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. he found that with us as well. So, were there many there? Um, there wasn't a lot of us. There was six or seven, I think, right. of us who were there. Um, and we did like a lot of different activities. So it wasn't compulsory to go. So no one missed anything. So we didn't like do an aspect of the right. course. Yeah. But it was more about like the conceptual bits of it in terms of like this is the sort of thinking and the activities you might see that you might be doing yeah. as you go along and like some of the tips he did on these activities we could take across. Um so it was more of like just an additional benefit to go. Yeah. And then he did go through um what our first TMA would have been about and how to produce it, because we don't write an essay. Right. In the typical sense, we have this other software called Compendium, which is like a um, mind mapping oh. type ah. thing. So because it's a lot of photos, because we're making a lot of things or drawing a lot, it's so say I drew something, I take a photo, I can put that onto the this mind map thing, write a little bit about it, and then go on to the next bit. So you can right. draw a mind map, and you can send that off to them, and then they can see yeah. what you've done. I thought I wasn't doing an essay. They caught me out, though, because when I added it all up, it was around, like, 2,000 words. Oh, and right. I was like, <laughs> oh, I've just done 2,000 words and steps. Because yeah. <laughs> like there was, like, nine yeah. images yeah. I put in and 150 and words. You wrote, yeah, by the time you and actually the time annotate <laughs> each of them, you kind of, like, use up the same amount of yeah, words in like, an essay. I've, yeah. been, I've been duped. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. at, your, um, at your, your study day, your mm-hmm. first one, did you ask questions? And I, how did it feel? I w- it was a bit nerve-wracking to begin with because I wasn't sure. Well, first I couldn't get in the building. So that oh, right. wasn't <laughs> <laughs> I got there and I was like, this is the place. But I didn't realise if you walked slightly further down the road, you'd find an entrance because I found the building and there was gates. So I right. just assumed that was the way in. Um, so I was there and I was like, oh, these gates aren't opening. And I was there. Then like, I eventually walked a bit further and I was like, Oh, <laughs> a door so is I, always handy. <laughs> yeah. So once I got in and found the room, um, it, it was a bit nerve wracking. No one was really talking too much at first. A lot of the tutor just chatting with us. I wouldn't say talking to us. He was very good. Um, yeah. And then eventually, as it went on, because it was a lot of coming up with ideas and thinking, yeah. and um, so once as that got on, and people kind of didn't feel nervous about saying something and realised like no one's gonna laugh at you if you yeah. say anything to like really yeah, out I think there generally people are really supportive aren't they yeah so i'm glad to hear that's that's kind of like your experience because that, that's kind of like been mine yeah. across the board it, and as a new yeah. new student i think that's even more important that you feel encouraged to contribute yeah. and study yeah so you've got another one your pace. coming up yes i've got one tomorrow actually so sort of your mindset from the first one to this one is it completely changed are you more relaxed are you yeah, I feel a lot more almost like 
I'm not trying to say knowing what I'm doing is the right word, like, but I'm much more like I can ask the questions and not Yeah. And I know where to ask the questions. So I can yeah. talk to my tutor, I can talk to other people on my group. So I've got like both for the tutor forum and like the module wide forum. Um and they've got like I have kind of like study buddies in there as well, right. people who have done the module previously. So they're dotted around helping out as well. So I've got them. I know I can go to my support, as well, like student support as well if I need to. I haven't had to use them yet, but I know they're there. Yeah. I got a really nice phone call when I, just before I started. Oh, wow. I got a phone call saying, hi, we just want to check that everything's going That's okay good. with your study. Yeah. And I was like, I wasn't expecting it. I was like, oh, uh, I haven't started. But I imagine it will be great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's important to have that kind of like rapport, isn't mm. it? Or that contact that you need, especially in the early days when you're kind of like finding your feet with everything. And yeah. uh, it can be a bit daunting. Yeah. I mean, I remember. Did okay. you manage to find your way around all your study um, uh, pages and on, on the internet? Eventually I did. I was a bit... The first time I went on, I wasn't sure what I was really looking for. I think because I hadn't, I didn't know what I needed to know. So yeah. I was like, look, I was clicking on things. Um, I don't know if this was of other modules. Mine did like a dummy TMA to begin right. with. Mm -hmm. So where we just submitted like a drawing. It didn't count for anything. It wasn't yeah. worth, but it meant that we went but you got through. your highest score ever. I did. <laughs> I got 100 because I did it. And I was like, perfect. <laughs> um, so that went really well. Yeah. Um, and because of that, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. For when I came to actually put in the... That bit wasn't the scary part in terms of finding out what I was doing. Brilliant. So you're feeling a bit happier now and a bit settled. So you know yes. where to ask support if you need to? Yes. Lady? Awesome. That's um, what we like to hear. We will be talking about that a lot more yes. throughout the programme. Yes. Can we just get you to pull a cracker? Because I've been oh, looking at them yes. quickly before yeah. we have to move on. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm desperate to one. win that hat. One, one two, two, three. three. Oh, oh, you are! <laughs> Hashtag Malika's not getting a cracker. Oh, I feel bad. Did you want the hat or should I? No, I just I've give just, her the toy. I've been, I've just... been, yes, please. I've read my favourite colour. I've been making that point to Sue earlier, but I never win a cracker. And, and did I not Ooh. just prove that point? I just did. Oh, oh, some metal. Look, you've got I never, a, you've ever. got a puzzle. What's that? So you've oh, got I some cards that. to do a trick, you've got a puzzle. That's and what's your cracker joke? That's my cracker joke. We'll, we'll get that joke in quickly before we have to, okay. to yeah. move on. Um, on which side do chickens have most feathers? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Have you got anything? <laughs> <laughs> on the outside. Because it would be on the inside. Because. <laughs> 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 Perfect. I believe it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I uh, cannot believe it. But listen, Joe, it's been a great pleasure having you tonight. It, uh, it's been amazing you having you. Please keep us updated on oh, your probably. progress and on your studies. Do you is you know do, yeah. you, do, do you come yeah. back to the studio anytime? We love you. We love guests. We do. Yeah. Thank you very you much for having interested. me. That's all right. Us. And uh, we we I'm afraid we have to move on because we've been given the the oh the I nod. know. You know, they, the, they nod at us, you know, know. how it is. We, we, it's Christmas and we still get the nod. Yeah, like, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to have to do that, unfortunately, folks. But thank you so much for coming along no problem. tonight. And, but uh, we will be back in contact with you because I think you're taking the calls for the, the students who are messing, messaging us. Yes, and I've got some Ooh, already. Oh, all right. Do you want them now or do you want them later? They're not nodding at us. Should we really ruin their day and at least give us just one? I know. I've got I one from before. Can. Please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I won't dance. <laughs> no, you'll, we'll, we'll have you back shortly. Okay, yeah. then. No problem. <laughs> we make the workers you... work. <laughs> Happy Christmas to us. <laughs> The Cantankerous they Edition. See, they can't see what's going on in the studio, but we will talk about it later on. But thank you ever so much yes. for coming, Jodie. Thank you. Oh, sorry, this is the we have to, season. We have to, yes, it is. We have to move on, Sue. We, we have do. to keep this show under, you know, yes, under we... strict targets. So um, next, uh, are we meant to get our next guest in? Or... Who can say? <laughs> we will probably be either on some more 
luscious videos yes, for you. Yes, I'm getting you again. Guest. Guest. We're the next guest team. So, Shall we ask the elf on the shelf? Shall we? What's, what's coming up next? As, as it's still got this weird look that is, <laughs> that is rather... Apparently it's freaking some of you yeah, out. Yeah, I think I, I don't like them. I'm for the afraid. next section, but, elf um, will be in a different place. But we will bring Kate in, uh, our next guest, Kate. But thank you so much, Jodie. And we hope to have you on again. Um, it's, yes. No, it's you, amazing you having new students the in. I will do. From the from the, the audience. I'm in the red hot news. Yes. Yes. <laughs> in the red hot news. So while we uh, while we get Kate in, I would like to read a new um well what's on this card? Actually okay. I was gonna say a new joke, but I don't even know if it's a new joke, so listen up. You have the ability to send every single OU student student a card. What would it say? Keep going. Oh, I like that. Jody. Um don't give up. Wonderful. I would, I'll be corny and I'll say, you are loved. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, you are. Right. So, we're going to get Kate in. And, uh, and we wish you all the best with the rest of your Thank studies, you. Jodie. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. We started off with our current president, Nikki Simpson, doing a quick address to the conference and we had a lovely celebration film of the work the association's been doing during the last couple of years. The session went really well. There was voting on all the different parts of the constitution that's going to be changing. Uh, there was a few different talks. The most important part of conference is the business, which happened this morning, but it's also a great way to learn about the Open University, learn about the students' associations, societies, and meet new students. Everyone is just so welcoming and everyone's so friendly. Everyone wants to talk to you. So it's definitely great to come here and feel really included in the community. It's great. People always talk about isolation with the Open Uni. Because I got involved, I've made way more friends through the Open University than I did when I did my original Brit Uni degree. And coming along to something like this, meeting people face to face, is one of the best ways to make friends. It's the best way to realise that you're not the only person in this, that there are other people with very similar experiences to you. Honestly, the friends you make with the OU can be lifetime, they really can. My favourite part of today has been meeting people that I haven't met but spoke to for six or seven months, having a laugh. I'm enjoying just being out in the sunshine and enjoying the diversity of everything that's here. Sometimes I never feel like I'm a proper student because you're at home or you're still working or as me, I'm a mother. Here you really feel part of being a student and you get to meet different people. So I definitely recommend coming to conference just to get an idea of what the student community and student association is all about. I mean, not just that you're voting on important changes. As Open University students, we don't have opportunities like this very often. And to have this amount of students in one place at the same time, and everyone's really excited, there's a great atmosphere, it's a really, really great weekend, and it's a great way to meet new students. And we're still laughing from the <coughs> previous joke that we cracked. Um, Welcome back to the studio, everybody. It's really nice to have you on campus in Milton Keynes again with, our, uh, with us tonight for a festive edition of Studio. Obviously, your two hosts, you know us, Sue, but we, I... we do have and Malika, and you do. We do have an amazing guest again because we like guests. The we guests, do, don't we? Because they you, make, you're amazing. Oh, they they you. prove you're not alone <laughs> in the studio. We Who need are you? <laughs> To our, our edition, Kate. Thank you. It's lovely to have you. Yeah, lovely to be here. Um, I was going to start speaking straight off French to you. Yeah. For some reason. Uh, ça va? Oui, ça va. Bravo. Alors, so, I'm, I'm studying German at the moment, but we realised that me and Malika both speak French as well. Yes, so, we do. Yeah, and and we started off with a big, big gates. Yes, big gates. Um, they're good, yeah. <laughs> I'm working on my accent, yeah. It's, it's my first module, so... I think you're you know, doing extremely well. I'll pick well. it up as I go along, so... 
I think you're doing extremely well. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, um, sorry, no. So we are now going to well, the Susan yeah, just chat rather, amongst yourselves. Really. See, this is, <laughs> see, this is a diverse, the diversity of your you students. We are so diverse, and, and it's like a tri it's my tribe. I've always said it's my tribe. I, I love your you students. We're, we're just so diverse and, and international, and foster equality and welcome you know welcome diversity yes, so totally. much don't we and and actually i wanted to talk about um, disabilities as well because we didn't even touch on that tonight and i was no, a bit disappointed because normally normally we would literally say um, how much uh, our, our students with disabilities and mental health and and other you know other things um, can actually get equal but, 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 we must talk to Kate about, about her studies. To to so, <laughs> Kate, tell us about your studies. What do you, so you're studying languages? Yeah, languages. So first OU module and first level German. So it's all kind of beginners, which is kind of nice. Everyone's kind of beginners, kind of messing in together, all kind of giggling at each other's accents and things. So, it's but funny. yeah, just did um, a bit like Jodie, actually. I just handed in my TMA actually, uh, on Monday. I tried to do it over the weekend, but didn't quite make it, but it's fine. Got it in on time. Oh, the deadline wasn't that's until great. yesterday. Have so you been checking the computer in case the they've marks. got for the marks? And... Yeah, I am tempted. <laughs> and yeah, how, long, really tempted. how long is it before they're marked? I think it's 10 days. I don't know if it's 10 working days or 10 calendar days, but, but you, I'm going to still check. My you horses. still keep yeah. checking. Yeah. I'm sure you will have done fantastic. Oh, What's your thanks. TMA like then? What's a, TM, a language's TMA like then? Tell us about so it. So I had to leave a telephone message as if I was um, reserving some hotel rooms for my... Oh little walking group which are uh, a vanda grouper yeah well yeah. Done. <laughs> Love that. yeah um yeah so that was a bit nerve-wracking i counted and i recorded it actually six times to get it right. right each time i listened to myself back and i was like oh no i've got this bit wrong oh no i've got that bit wrong but finally i was happy with what i recorded and had that like, nervous moment of clicking submit oh and they do like to check with you have you definitely submitted the right file do you want to check it again do you want to check it again but no i think that it was, was the right it. thing i didn't just submit some random sound file and then go back and, and quickly go oh hang on what did i just yeah. submit but, yeah. but how did you record that is there a software on your yeah. uh, do you have to use something specific yeah it was actually really handy because there was like an ou piece of software i think they call it art or is some acronym stands for audio mm -hmm. recording blah 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 but I managed to use my laptop and just that software, and yeah, it was fine. Oh, yeah, great! That, yeah. that is that is great. That's fantastic. It's always nice to learn new technology. I isn't think it? so. Yeah, yes, definitely. especially especially people like myself. I always complain I'm a technophobe. Yeah, always. I, I get I get I get people to look at it, and you know I go in the right panic and I flap round, and and actually the problems are, are very simple to be yeah. dealt with. But, but no, but it's good really navigating technology yeah. is another skill we pick up along the way, isn't it? As so students. your study calendar, mm, you found it. Yes. Are I, you following it? Uh, I think no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit behind, but I know when all my assessments are, and I do think I've got a break. I'm hoping I have a break over Christmas. I need yeah. to check the. Yeah. Oh, what's you it have called? To. My study um, planner. planner. Yeah, yes. so I can see week by week. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed, like Jodie, I've got a bit of a break over Christmas. I think so we all do, to be honest. To yeah. yeah, sounds sensible. Yeah. 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 And that'll be the, the time when you know we'll be like, come on then, let's get this in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My course has um ICMAs as well. So oh, yeah. right. online quizzes. And I've taken one of those and that was, you know, that was not too bad. I didn't find that as nerve wracking as speaking, so mm. that was quite cool. I could just go back and like check my answers and stuff. But yeah, I think January is my next one of those. So. Oh, another <laughs> speaking one? And then a speaking one come February. Right. Okay. Oh no, it might be but, written actually, but it's another more like serious assessment. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the quizzes, they're important, yeah. but they don't count as much towards my grades. So it's those TMAs yeah. where I'm really like, oh, really so focus. Got, yes, have yeah. you got study days or online tutorials or what? How are you interacting with the rest of your peer group and your, your tutors? Yeah, I'm lucky that I know a couple of people who've studied before, so they're definitely like a support for me. I can say, oh, I've got my TMA, and they know what that means, because it's like a different language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. tutor yeah. assignment. Yeah. yeah. Um, but in terms of 
um, tutorials. I've only done online ones, no face-to-face -face ones so far. I just find it so hard to fit it in. You have to do the, the travel and get there, but yeah. I quite would like How to do it. How far would you have to travel? Because Jodie had about a two-hour travel, she didn't did. she? Yeah, yeah. Jodie did, yeah. I think my options have been Oxford and London. So for me, that's not too far. It's like an hour, hour and a half, mm -hmm. but just squeezing in study is a challenge yeah. enough so so that's yeah, why you've opted for online yeah definitely yeah, yeah. i get used to like put my hand up my little yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> in the, in, connect. Yeah, in, the, in the online classroom yeah. so I, was I, that nerve-wracking yeah yeah and um, i have studied some languages before so i know that you have to be a bit like keen you have to be like yeah i want to speak now because otherwise you don't get your practice and then yeah. you never exactly. get your feedback so Precisely. i have to be like really keen in yeah. there putting up yeah. my hand but yeah first time around it is a bit nervous when you put your mic on and you're like oh everyone can hear me yeah <laughs> there we go. yeah it's, it's it's interesting i think i tend to be the one that always talks in a tutorial yeah i don't know why that is <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea but i i, te I tend, I tend to have to yeah, yeah. i tend to now uh, in in the ones i've had is um it, it, it's it's been a case of the, everyone's chatting in the chat box so I'm kind of like sitting back and doing that as well but yeah. if tutors if I feel tutors want people to contribute with the, the microphone then I'll always jump in and go well, I'll go on I'll get in so that that yeah. encourages yeah. other people to do it yeah but I definitely. appreciate how difficult it can be for anyone to be behind the screen and thinking I'm not sure I'm going to say something wrong but mm. but actually in languages so what because yeah. you know yeah, as a you linguist have to. Yeah. so what you have to get your practice in even yeah. now I've lived 15 years in this country and I had English before I, I arrived in England obviously um it it even now I do pronounce things wrong at yeah you times. need to get that feedback yeah. don't you you need someone uh, yeah. to tell you it's wrong otherwise yeah. you yeah. will just keep and saying I, and it. I will do or, or when exactly you need the feedback at the beginning but also your head is kind of like you, you kind of like when you're a linguist you will you will sometimes say something in a different way and and you think oh no no sorry i just need and and it's okay you know it's okay yeah. to be like that and to make mistakes and it's, it's absolutely okay to also be encouraged you know to, to 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 be saying it the correct way so i think feedback is a very important thing as well isn't it yeah, especially definitely. for me as, as a as a neal person or student yeah so no uh, kudos to you so you've got french you've got german now well not, not yet yeah and uh and then uh and then uh obviously english being your mother tongue yep. and the yep. other languages that we don't know about uh we're gonna have of, europe in this a little, in this bit. <laughs> yeah. little bit of spanish and a little bit of italian oh but, um yeah Fantastic. i'm a bit of a yeah lover of language. A bit, a bit of a language so were you me, studying yeah, for fun or just for well yeah good question um i've actually got some german family members i've got four ger their nieces who are bilingual right. and i don't really? want them to get away with anything when, ah. they're, when they're naughty so they can't get anything past their auntie I'm going to be able to understand what they say. That's what I'm aiming to do. Do they know that's, that you're studying? That's craft. Or are you going to keep uh, no, it quiet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're very funny, though, when I try to... Um, when I try to say the numbers or something, mm. and they'll, they'll say, oh, well done. You know? They're yeah. very like, oh, you pronounced it like me. Well done. Oh. <laughs> and they're going to be teachers, some of them, I think, when yeah. they're older. But very you get your own back some, someday. Yeah. You win. <laughs> So they live here then in the UK, um, do they? Two of them live in the UK and yeah. two of them live um, in Nuremberg in Germany. Nuremberg. So. Oh, great, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. See, yeah. We're, we're a bit of an international community, we aren't are. we? I yeah. mean, I, I used to live in Strasbourg, as m many of you know. You know, I've made that public on my, my students' uh, testimonies, etc. Uh, so being on the German border was, you had to learn another language mm. anyway. And I preferred English to German, don't say that, but, <laughs> you know, don't tell them that. Uh, but but you, you were immersed in languages yeah. and... Uh, uh, and mm. it turns out that as as like you you've got you've got family uh, German bilingual family I've got uh, one of my brothers he's married with a German lady and they've got my, my nephew is now 18 19 he speaks uh, Dutch because they live in Holland mm. so they they're now living in Holland and they live there for many years so he's got about four languages routinely but he does oh, he wow. does speak like English German French and uh, and uh, Dutch yeah and so family in Spain because my my husband's uh, sorry my husband's sister is in Spain and and uh, with a Spanish national Belgian family, uh, we were mm. everywhere, you know, they're it's like these connections. Can't get away from Malika's family. Yeah, we can't, 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 we can't,
<laughs> but it, it's hashtag nice. everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Hashtag. But it's kind of like it's important really to highlight the connections mm. we make internationally, mm. and and that's going back to a module I did for living in a globalized world, world which oh, I cool. really enjoyed. Did it to your time, wasn't it? If some people watching are doing it now, awesome module, and it was mm. talking about the connections that that exist, you know, um, in the world, and I think. Uh, one of them is, is that we are living in a globalised world and we are all connected now. So if you've all mm. got family all dotted around, mm. obviously you've got your studies and you're a little bit behind at the moment. Yes. Have you got any idea how you're going to cope with Christmas dinner mm. and study? Yeah, it's a um, really the good question. Film. <laughs> yeah, really good question. I'm already looking at like the days I've got off work. Um, she says, um, dutifully, the days I've got off work and which ones that where there might be a little bit of time for catching up on study. Mm. So I think I'm just going to have to be strict with myself because I do like yeah. a bit of a Christmas break, you know, yeah. bit of a snooze after the Christmas dinner. No studying on Christmas Day. That's going to oh, be no, my role. Oh, no, no, that, like, that, 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 can't, you know, yeah, that can't happen. Yeah, Watching that's movies. family time. Yeah. 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 Watching movies and that's. I suppose if people haven't got family... Would they want to study on Christmas Day, or would they? Again, it it would it it's quite possible, isn't it? I mean, I mean, whatever makes you happy, I suppose. And if you mm. are the sort of student that really needs to be doing that to make you feel happier, then go for it. You know, yeah. it's it's got to be, it's got to be something that that that's got to suit you and that makes you feel happy. And you the know? students' association's got events on Christmas Day as we well, do. haven't they? Yeah, we do. And There'll the be... support is on on Christmas Day if you need yeah. uh, the big white wall and yeah. all peer support yeah. as yeah. well. So there, there is yeah, absolutely. Other, others out there. And, of course, there's all the, the Instagrams and the Facebooks and stuff for, for keeping in contact as well Yes. Um, to keep Correct. you motivated. But do you know what we haven't mentioned, actually? I was thinking mm. about it. Because you're a new student, Kate. Yes. Conference. Oh. We yes. haven't talked about conference. Yeah, I yeah. can't believe we haven't even said a word about conference this evening. And we've uh, been sat here the whole time. I guess together. it's a little while. That's the last it was time back I saw when it was light and yeah. sunny. Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was gorgeous, wasn't it? And yeah. I believe our folks that are watching us just watched the video of conference. Mm. Oh, yeah. To show them what yeah. it was like. When's so the next, next one in two years, isn't Yeah, I was going to say, when's the next one? Two years, isn't it? Yes. And you really, truly want to be involved with conference. And yeah. you can also online. You don't have to be attending as a physical guest. You can do that as a, an online delegate. Are you up for it, Kate? Ooh, well, what am I doing in 2020? Who's planning that far ahead? Well, <laughs> you might, because students get involved. So what's yes. in it for me if I got involved? Oh, it's amazing. A chance to meet other students face-to-face yeah. -face oh, or on the online element in the online Yeah, platform. we were part of a steering... You were part of a steering I committee was. as well. Just yes, like steering committee, year. that's organisation sort yeah. of committee. Yeah, and it, it was a great, great, speak. great experience yeah. in terms of seeing the whole thing unfold, you know, the organisation. And we, we were truly having an, an input, very, very genuinely an and input. And what about the student association yeah. is about, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Because oh, there was the business side of it, Yeah. Uh, but there was also the social side and the yes. meeting of the students and... Yes. and because there's business sounds very formal. Is that like well, do you don't have to wear a suit to that bit, do you? Uh, <laughs> nah, no. nah. We just I that, yeah, we no. just like to think that it's just going through the motions and yep. making sure yeah. that we adhere by the rules, I suppose, and the regulations, yeah, and elect our members as well. Our new mm. new yes. committee have been yes, elected. Yes, the committees and, on the and back of students that. who are more active for for two yeah. years who get elected, which can be any student who puts themselves forward. So if you've considered it, not considered it, need to consider it, then look at in in a couple of years time. Yeah. Um, for the information, um, because yeah. it is students like yourselves volunteering for different roles within the central executive committee correct and the trustees and um yeah well, I even being sat here being a studio host yeah, yeah yes. that's true. oh yes there's loads yeah. of other opportunities oh, yeah, yeah. Loads of but, on there. yeah for the central executive committee it's elected for a two-year position but it might be that you want to um volunteer at a degree ceremony Oh yes. Um, I'd you like might to do that want someday. to. They sometimes the call goes out to come to campus, um, either to 
speak or give a student's perspective to, to the OU, or they have things going on. Um, what We're enshrined in the, uh, the charter, so there's charter day. Yeah. Yeah, um, this June library century. as well. Oh, the library. Oh, the, ar oh. the archive team. Yeah, the they're, they're doing they're doing a really awesome jo job out, aren't they? You know, these these are these are really jobs that. And I think doing coming them. up next year yeah. as well, we've got the um we've got some researchers um yeah. who are doing things um with the BME community or BAME mm -hmm. community or BAM. Or I have no <laughs> One idea. Of One yeah. of the acronyms. <laughs> I'm I'm just I'm just cheering for that because that's 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 one of my well my we've got we've got the obviously. we've got the disabled students group yeah. haven't we so if you've got a disability um there's support going on there mm -hmm. if um we've also got plexus yes um for L B G B T plus community yes. um fantastic and groups. it's more support for for those who need support and friendships and yeah. And stuff that needs to go on, and um, yes, there's a sort of a big push for the BME community. Yeah, um, to, and I, I'm, I'm because absolutely a lot of that. students have asked us, and I know because I was uh, contacted um, recently mm -hmm. um, by a researcher. Oh right, yeah. Um, but yes, hopefully we'll we'll be bringing something. I may have had that. something about it as well to kind of like give some insight. I need yeah. to I need it's to go into one of these email boxes it? that I've sent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't checked in ages. Oh, I'm I'm getting cold sweats there because I'm just thinking I might have not been acting on something that yeah. really makes me feel happy. And it's it's about things that mm. make you feel happy. Really, for me, it's it's important that what I volunteer yeah. and it's is, getting is a student voice helping me as, as well, well isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. give to yeah. the community yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. make me feel better that I'm not the only one that's not up to date on my emails and no, my modules. No, no, no. So, no. I've got, I've got, I'm I've working got three on it. accounts. <laughs> Talking of emails and messages, yeah, have we heard accounts. from any of our viewer? Wow. Yes, <laughs> I know. I was hoping we could. Viewers, <laughs> listeners, people yes, out in the big wide world. I was um, having a little look at the uh, live feed outside um, right. while Jodie was on, and um, we did have some comments coming in. So um, there was someone called Anthony. Who Hi, says, Anthony. Yeah, he says he panics if he's not at least a week ahead with his studies. Oh, so, Anthony. Hi. Don't panic. Really? You can be a week oh. ahead. But yeah. Don't, don't panic. beat yourself up. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm the queen of winging. I am yeah. the queen of winging. Yeah. And I do mean that. Seriously, do not beat yourself up. I think yeah. I think one the advice, perhaps we, some of the advice we might want to give uh, students who really feel they need to be always forever on top of a game is that, hey, you know things happen. And yeah. and quite frankly, the OU totally understands that. I mean, the mm. tutors totally understand that because due to the nature of who we are. Um, it's okay, right? It's yeah. okay. Just uh, it's finding your happy medium yeah, of where you are, but yeah. definitely don't go beating yourself. No, up. and yeah. if and if you are having that panic moment, speak to somebody really seriously. Just have yeah. a quick. We'll go back through know. what. Um, yeah. I don't know whether you can see here. We've got peer support, yeah. big white wall, yeah. nightline, and Samaritans. We'll go through that again yeah. at the end, and there'll be a link. But yes, definitely. And, don't and you might up. have a buddy you study with that can help you. I mean, at the moment, I've I've come back to to. I've, I've got this final module I'm doing, which is a scientific one. Well, okay, and, and it's not social sciences because the environmental studies degree is more social sciences. But nevertheless, this student I've been studying with throughout, mm. we're now back into the same tutor group and we, we oh. were split for some time. But, uh, but she's been on the other end of my phone when I was having the I can't do this moment, mm. the one yeah. that we heard about at conference, isn't it? And yeah. I had so many this this since September or October, I can't do this, I can't do this. And she's been at the other end of the phone to say, right, yeah. but, you know, just conf messages of support, comfort, 10 o'clock at night or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we just need to talk to each other, really, yeah. to make sure that we express how we feel. Do you so, want to hear some more comments? Yes, please. Yeah. Um, okay, someone called Fran said that... Hi, Fran. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last year there was a point where she was about six months behind. Now that's that worries me a little bit more. I can't imagine um, that, that must that, be yeah. quite a weight on your mind yeah. if you're six yeah. months behind. I'm hoping um, that you contacted your tutor, that you contacted mm. student support, mm. and um, you you managed to get the various supports for that mm -hmm. because that is quite a massive thing to to be behind with 
and that's more of sort of the OU perspective with regards to your studies. Um, I think looking again, looking at the other support that we've been discussing, you can use that for um, all the other sort of aspects in your life because we know an OU mm. student isn't just an OU student, they're a family carer, oh, yeah. worker, yeah. you name it, they've got it to mm. multitask mm. and sort of time manage. Um, yeah, so I, I think hopefully you've got it solved, resolved, sorted, whether or not it meant that you pos uh, postponed it, deferred it, because um, life happens. But please, if you haven't contacted any of the support, please get in contact with your tutor, get in contact with your um, student support team, and hopefully they'll be able to help you. And perhaps in the meantime, then get in contact with the Open University Student Association, your association, and whether or not you join clubs or societies or you contact them for their support, the peer support and stuff like that. Um, and it will just mean that it isn't such a burden on you, and but definitely don't feel isolated. Though. I think so. I think I think um, I think you've summed it up perfectly there. So it's it's a case of do not leave things too late. You yeah. know, mm. obviously, yeah. um, contact. See, there are options that can be explored. Yes. And and I I do you remember I did tell you about was it last year? Well, the past two years have been hellish for me. Two years of absolute hell, but um, I I I nearly. This time last yeah. year, probably January, I said, right, I'm uh, I'm jacking it all in, yeah. you know, I'm doing it, I'm jacking it all in, I'm going, I'm, you know, there's no way I can continue with anything. And I was bottom, rock bottom low, I was literally rock bottom at that point in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm still navigating through that, you know, just because I'm here tonight and I'm presenting my, 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 my positive vibe doesn't mean that it's still not, it's yeah. not there, it, it's still there. But... I'm still here to tell the tale, right? Yeah. And that's thanks to you folks, obviously my student associations buddies. Not just me folks. And but they, <laughs> they, they, were, they were there. They played a huge part in, in making sure that, you know, that yeah. I wasn't just going to give up on myself and on everything I'd, I'd, I'd done, yeah. you know. And it's really important, I think. And um, it's people who understand, isn't it? Because yeah. as, as we've said earlier, sometimes family don't understand what it is. No. But yeah. a fellow where you or you can't work. sometimes talk to your family yeah. about something you or know you might not for even various reasons mm -hmm. now for my, mine mine yeah. are particular because my family is not here anyway yeah. they're they're in France mainly my mother and and, and 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 other siblings are elsewhere abroad so I can't connect and I, and I wouldn't want to give them bad news about myself being in another country why why would I want to subject them to oh you don't want to worry yeah. them. no oh, to them thinking that Malika's out there in England and she's she's a struggling and she's yeah. low and why would I want to subject them to that I, I can't yeah. I can't think about doing that and so therefore mm. it's important to talk to other people that are there any more yeah um I've got a slightly more festive comment oh festive that, oh <laughs> I love should festive should we jingle jingle <laughs> Jingle bells, jingle bells, and we've got we've got you know yeah, we've, we've got, got really got, nice deco nicely decorated trees. <laughs> I, I never I never ever decorate the trees. By oh. the way. I like looking at them, but I don't do. It. Go uh, on. So um, Anka was in touch, and she oh, said, "Oh hello, hello Anka. Anka. <laughs> um, Her study calendar is made of a mad rushes around TMA dates, but she did say something festive too. She asked us, "Where are the mince pies?" Oh, they didn't oh, feed crackers. us. No, um, no. Christmas tree. I haven't even though. eaten a mince pie yet this year. I, uh, I, I, do you know, I haven't, actually. I haven't either. Honest. But I think the moment I do start eating we, them, then it's, the it's open, the show, open mince so. eyes. Should <laughs> we pop to the shop? Season. We can drive up the shop and get some. Um, no. No. <laughs> we'll save them for breakfast. Party poop. Anybody uh, else? Um, no, that's it. I was just wondering whether I got to pull a cracker. Well, I, no. I think um, because is no. it Malika's last yeah. chance to get a hat? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. weird. Now you can either go for I, number six or number twelve. Oh. oh. Whichever one doesn't Which give one Malika would you like a hat. Uh, I don't know. I've, one? I've, 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 do you know what? I've I've given up now because yeah. I'm thinking. Well, I don't know. I don't have very strong arms. You've got a good choice. Right, You're let's, a good try. Chance. let's try. Let's yeah, try. Let's try. Please, please. Right. Come One, on. two, three. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh, shall we share? Shall we share? No, she gets the choice. I, I don't get. I, I 
I'd never what would you prefer? Ever. Maliki just gets the toy. Yeah. <laughs> What's your toy? There, I can't even see the toy. Did it jump out? Door, though. Did the toy jump out? Something, something jumped out. But I, Malika. I Right. Oh, is your colour, right? Uh, well, red. <laughs> Matter of fact, oh, red. No. Oh, no. That's what Chloe says. Oh, and, and, did you get a joke with it? Oh, I did. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Sue, should I try and, oh, and prove wow, to you? Oh, wow. Sue doesn't sit on the head. Oh, you're quite and right. It does. Oh, let's focus. Hang on. What's the <laughs> <a> joke? <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> not, that's not a joke. This what is a joke. What do you call... <laughs> we digress. What, what do you call uh, just married spiders? Ooh, Spiders um, who've just got married. What do you call them? Good job, Bill. Just married spiders. They're all probably thinking, can't you see? <laughs> I don't know. No, I Honestly, don't know. you call them newlywebs. Uh, 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 oh my And gosh. another question, very quickly. Is uh, Die Hard a Christmas film? Oh, the debate. Yeah, we are at Christmas. Christmas no, the it? snowman is. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The snowman. You know that used to frighten me as a child. The snowman. The snowman, really? <laughs> yeah. Is it? Hashtag seeking support. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, Would you like to share? Well, he was kind of just a stranger who appeared in his garden. I was like, I'm not sure he should be hanging around with that guy. And he melted and I got that's a bit a bit, scared. That's so a bit he was, scary, I agree. He was in pain, the snowman. I didn't like him anymore. All right, so oh. Die Hard is a Yeah, maybe more Die Hard for me. <laughs> yeah, but I, 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 I have to harrowing. say it isn't, though, Die Hard, is it? I agree, it isn't. Well, is it? It's a Wonderful Life or something. Is that a Christmas one? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's a classic. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. So, have we got time to... See? We, we'll try and fix some more of um, these jokes, but we want to talk about... Yes, because you've been Holly? you've been inspiring us, and so who else has been inspiring? But also, let me just show this, the OU Students magazine. Oh yeah, which is where you'll find this article, isn't it? I don't remember seeing that in my inbox for some reason. Oh, mind you, I haven't checked my inbox. <laughs> she <Yeah>. says. <laughs> check check one of your inboxes uh, on your yeah, inbox yeah, thing. Yeah. If not, find yes. it on the website. Yeah, I haven't checked actually. It could well be sitting there. A very I good read. Ignored it. So what, what, what have we got to, to, to talk about in this well, magazine? I know you've got second about... innings there, mm -hmm. which is a lovely article, as written by Paul, Yes. about Adrian Rollins. Yes, cricketer. Indeed he dude. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Adrian Rollins, cricketer? I, I'm not much of a cricket fan, but uh, I have read the article. I must Big admit. shout so... out to Alison, because she yeah. likes her cricket, so you'll <laughs> yeah. know who Adrian is. And... What's Adrian doing now? Because Adrian is one of your you graduates. Isn't yes. It? So inspiring. Well, the, the article sort of sums up his early life and how he was spotted as a young player and, and his cricketing life. And then how life changed. Mm -hmm. And he had to think about life after cricket. Mm -hmm. And with the help and support of his mother. Mm -hmm. Um he took to learning um, with the OU and he's taken it all the way to um, being a deputy head teacher now yes and, yep. and, and teach, wow. teacher of maths I believe isn't it yes and, and I, I, I must I must confess I did read Adrian's uh, story a little while ago on the OU news website mm, I believe it came yep. through and I was absolutely inspired by mm. by it it was amazing so i'm really glad that paul's actually done an interview with adrian and i did say that i'd like to have adrian in the studio yeah. and i think adrian <laughs> if you're watching yes the offer still there and um, i'd love to, we'd love to have you in as a guest to kind of like discuss your story because this is one of the inspiring stories yeah. that we need to 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 be aware of adrian's coming from uh, obviously um, a, a single mother background i believe uh, just like me my mom raised nine of us she did so i can totally relate to being um being raised by by a single parent and um adrian's managed to to kind of like um i think looked at mom at his mom as a, as a role model yes. if i'm right to say that 
and and again that's that's a similarity for me too because my mum is is obviously a, a he super just, role model yeah, he for described me. her as a phenomenal woman yes and you've got some quotes there also uh that you've highlighted from the article that i i would like yeah, the students to if, hear yeah um because because he had to sort of prepare for life after cricket after um an injury uh went because he broke his wrist um and his two passions were uh, his, his sport and mm. and his maths and obviously both of those had disciplines and routines mm -hmm. and um that's what helped sort of him him move forward and the inspirations were his tutors his mother uh Martha, mm -hmm. and she actually Got also OBE as well yes yeah, she actually mentored him um so it was part of his goal in becoming a a head teacher which is his mm. is his next goal um but he's also got advice for new to the OU students starting out oh this i need to hear yes <laughs> well really he's he's, he's, take, <laughs> he's taken a, a quote um which is begin with the end in mind okay that is yeah. such a good think one end goal. So, yeah okay. think yes. of your end goal i like I that that's concise yes. but yet to the point isn't it yeah yeah what, yeah. what what we want the end goal is is there and it's within our reach and we we do yeah. need to get there and that that um quote because we all know as an OU student we have to quote um mm. is from Stephen R Covey seven habits for highly effective people mm. um and he goes on to say if you have challenges such as personal issues then make sure you get support from your tutor and the student support team. Which is what we were saying tonight, really. So that's wrapping up nicely. You must use them. Don't doubt yourself mm -hmm. and give yourself time to get into into your studies and into into your way of, of studying. Um, and eventually, obviously, he graduated and it was a fantastic day. Um, and there's a fantastic picture there of Adrian. And his, his uh, yeah. children were there. And... Uh, They'd actually gone through the journey with him mm -hmm. as well and seen him study, um, which, yes, when you when you do end up going to a degree mm -hmm. ceremony, because that's where you're, that is your end, end goal. the end goal <laughs> will be your degree ceremony if you choose to go to go to it. And I suggest you do because it is a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's then that you just know yeah. that journey that you yeah. and your family Mm. have been on what a lovely cycle then if his mum inspired him and maybe he'll inspire his family his yeah. children i think it's yeah. true to say that 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 that, that you know you need role models don't you and and i've always kind of like um myself as as, as me it was always I, ne I needed to look up to 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 people that could inspire me mm. you know through challenges for me it was uh it was people like um you know maya angelou uh, mm. Martin Luther King, you know, uh, yeah. people like that, but particularly within the VAME community that I looked up to because mm. I knew that we were fighting similar, similar challenges. Yeah. Mm. And for me, seeing them successful was something for me to hang on to and to say, right, hang on, just because you're, you know, you, you're not conforming certain people's perceptions of mm. what normality is, and I'm going to mm. put that mm. there because. Uh, that's that's the world we lived in back then you know I'm talking yeah. about 40 years ago or 30 years ago then uh, thankfully we're no longer in this this type of world you know we, we're far more tolerant and accepting mm. now but I think it was really important to have that to have an end goal and to be able to look up to other people that inspire you and for, for students it might be someone within their community you know it mm. might be someone that they they see every day uh, doing doing something that's specific or particular or, or outstanding and and that's important to have that in mind to continue and persevere with our journeys isn't it yeah mm. and, uh, and 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 really i think uh, we won't get there without the support we yeah. want you know it's important that we have that support talking of support and another learning journey uh learner's journey in the in the magazine um was is a lovely article written by um liam about her learning journey and her support from her husband. Right. So I suggest you do look up the link for the magazine. Definitely. Because um, she doubted herself. 
Um, and one of, what is it she says, one of the greatest lessons Leanne learned was to believe in herself. Mm -hmm. And I think because, you do have to believe. Do you mm, believe in yes. yourself? Oh, well, you know, 90% of the time, but I do have that 10% of the time where, yeah, I just need a cheerleader or to be my own cheerleader, maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah, you've done yeah. things before. Yeah, you can do just this. pick that yeah. on the yeah. back. You know, you've come yeah. this far, look, look back and, and yeah. see what you've achieved. And it's yeah. really important for us, isn't it? Mm. It's yeah. really, really important Especially when to you're be kind to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I think that helps for me that I've got learning languages as a background because I know what it's like to be day one and be mm -hmm. like, literally know nothing. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so That's I try it. to remind myself I couldn't always, you know, speak French. There was a day one when I didn't know anything. So I just have to remind myself of my German course. Yeah, and you yeah. will get there. And I, yeah, I, I appreciate step. that you you speak French. You just brightened my evening this Aww. evening by having an, exchanging a few words. You made it even better for me. So Aww. there you go. Aww. We are, we are, we are international and uh, and and connected. And and we've got our student base abroad as well, haven't we? We we we've yes. got students studying from mm. different countries around the world. So. Again, Truly you are global. part of this community, folks, if you are watching from wherever you are. And I, I hope that you can. I hope that you can access these broadcasts. So this takes us to more or less probably the end of the show, I would have thought. We haven't had a... We haven't the, had a mince pie. The, the mince pies. <laughs> we haven't had we sherry. We haven't had anything, really. <laughs> All that to come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is still early. The host but we've got a tree. Yeah. <laughs> no, to be fair, they treat us we well. We haven't got chocolate coins on it. You had pizza, though. Oh, yeah, we've had pizza. <laughs> I've, I've got Best my slices pizza. waiting outside. I'm going to have some because I was running, running late. Or I know, to get there on the time. fear, the fear <laughs> of this. Yes. Doing this whole show on my own, <laughs> all by myself. I wouldn't let you down, ever, ever, ever. I'd ever. have shared with the students who had nobody. Oh, Speaking of the, the people who might be alone um, at Christmas, have you guys spoken about the Christmas drop-in? Yeah, yeah, we kind of like vaguely, yeah. we actually didn't, we didn't were talk vague. about it specifically. Yeah. Yeah. We, we said vague. there was stuff so going on. Stuff <laughs> going on. <laughs> you know, tell us yeah. more. They've tell not, us, they've share, not come to share say with us. you up now so we can talk about it. So I hear this was really successful last year. There's going to be a drop in for OU students on Christmas Day itself because even though a lot of us think, Oh, you know, I mean, I'm going to be surrounded by this German-speaking nieces at Christmas, you know. I'm not going to have but a moment to myself. Them. Yeah, hopefully I'll understand them. But I know that not everyone will be buzzing on Christmas Day. Some people's Christmas days are quieter. They might, mm -hmm. as we said, like to study. I'm house-sitting with a dog. Yeah. So oh, I'm yeah. actually going to be alone oh, unless I... But I've got a little plate. <laughs> yeah. I've got a plate of dinner. Mind you, I might even dog. connect. Well, I'm supposed yeah. to host, but hey... I could always sneak away and just connect. Yeah. 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 So, um, for anyone who's interested in attending, it'll appear in the events section on ourstudents dot com. Brilliant. Um. Yeah, I heard it was pretty well attended last year. So. Yes. Was yeah. it Steph that got involved with it? Yes. Wasn't it? Yeah, I believe. Yeah, I heard. I heard that it was well attended. I she's heard. a vice president, isn't I know. she? Or is she deputy oh, president, deputy or is she something? Yeah. Steph, yeah. Steph she's got something. Steph has got. Yeah. <laughs> There's president in the, in the name of her, isn't it? Yeah. Just a very friendly um, woman, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got we've got amazing um, volunteers, haven't we? Yes. Across the board, people who really put in an awful lot. She's elected the for, for two years, isn't yeah. she? So happy yeah. days. So, what's the best gift you've been given? Oh. You've never been ever been given. Oh. Gosh, that's a really tricky mm. one. You know, I can't even think the best gift. I'm gonna be. Hmm. Are, are we talking about? Objects, I guess, because I was going to be really corny and say my children, but Aww. actually that's not me. Really, I was, I was going to be really corny. Well, I can't really think of anything else, you know, that's going to make me happier. Really good gift. But the best gift I've ever been given, Ooh. racking my brains, hmm. I've no idea. What about you, Sue? Best gift? Was it the Getting hat you were wearing? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was getting... Do you know what? It, I think it was... Being able to achieve, giving to myself that belief oh, in myself. That, oh, good Lord, I like don't that. I sound really awful. No, no, but, no but that's great. Because um, I wasn't thinking about things like that. I was racking my brain about materi yeah, material. Yeah, well, those materialistic, things, materialistic things that things. you go, thank you, there's yeah, lovely. Um, yeah. um, but then it was like, yes, because I, you know, I qualified as a, as a nurse <sighs> years ago. I'm pensioned off now. And I've got my degree. 
and sort of in one sense I had to believe in myself that I could do it and sort of I achieved and it's it's not sort of bigging myself up Although I can do because I did achieve. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. It is. Oh, yeah. It is. Um, yes, having that sort of de- grit and determination yeah. and yeah. and and I, sort I of outside that. support. Yeah. Um, from from a perspective of receiving something that is really special rather than the the best was like um, being thought of and being given honorary life membership for the student oh. association. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Said, no, that uh, was so exciting. I was so happy. I was to, cheering. To me, that was honorary life membership was for people who've done sort of hugely massive whatever things. Oh. And but you have. to actually be, to be seen by others in that light. Yeah. Um, yes, and then you are. later on or more recently to have been nominated for the um, Women Leaders 2018 volunteering well. category. That's amazing. It's, yeah, it is quite amazing that how other people's perspective of me, and I'm trying to work on sort of my perspective of me. Of you, yeah. But um, you are. But you yeah, are, those are, are the sort of, that is, or they were the, the massive, massive gifts, I think. Oh, that's um, fantastic. That's so meaningful. Yes. It is. It is. So. Yeah. All, all well, very well deserved. But, I'm um, sure. Yeah. No, that's, yeah, it's a bit. Oh. <laughs> I think, I think I, do you know, I think I hear that about the grit and de- deter- determination. See, that's my French accent yeah. tired coming back. Determination. Uh, oh, oh, actually, I did, I, do, I do kind of like forget my, even sometimes I forget my French words because oh. I've been here too long. Um, but um, it's really important to mention that because um, we're all on this journey and it's not an easy journey. Yeah. It isn't, you know. And I know there's, there's no students out that. there who, you know, want, once that will be their gift to themselves, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. having met um, other students who've wanted to study and for whatever reason and had no support and sort of that determine, determination within themselves mm, that mm. they've gifted to themselves that that opportunity and yeah. said you know what i will and i'm going to do i will mm. exactly exactly de- de- despite what life throws at us mm. it's it's kind of like a, yeah. a moment for for ourselves to to say yes we can and yes we yeah. have done or yes we will and, and mm. because it is for each mindset, individual isn't it? isn't it i know that sort of family and maybe community or whatever may also be involved but you're on your journey for you so mm. it is for you to sort of say yes, yeah. for you to say yes. Yeah, um, we will get there. We will yes, together. We'll get there. Kate and Kate and I, we will we'll get there as well. Yeah, go it's on. It's been a wonderful gift to be with you guys today. Oh, oh goodness. goodness! That's Lord. the best. Yes. That's the best gift today. Honestly, this is getting you. so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to make you feel emotional. She's going to get me scared. Exactly. Yes, yes. We've got one more cracker that you're yeah, going to I lose know. on. I know. I'm not going to win again. <laughs> but um, I, I, I feel, I feel that perhaps we can try another cracker. But there's something there that I just think maybe we could read, and that maybe that might be our last one to comment on. Would you rather make presents for your family instead of buying them, or make ornaments for your Christmas tree instead of buying them? Ooh. Are you creative first and foremost? Oh, I do like a bit of, you know, a bit of arty type thing. Anka will be listening mm. to that because she's our creative yeah. guy, yes. isn't she? Although she is. I'm a bit, mm, I think what I create, I don't and know no. whether it's gift worthy. <laughs> Did you used to make gifts and cards and stuff as a child? Yeah, at school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we yeah, listening. we used to do cards, definitely. Yeah. I used to knit my um, sister's. Um, it was either a Cindy or a Barbie doll. Oh, all cute. the little clothes, all the little clothes for it. Uh, I, I, I kind of like. I'm in between two minds, you know. I'm kind of like always thinking, consumerism, mm. waste. Blah, 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 blah. There's too much packaging around, and the planet, and this, that, the other. Obviously, being that I'm doing this degree, there's a reason for it. Is that I'm that way inclined. But on the other hand. I'm not particularly the best creative person either, so I do accept my 
my weaknesses, so to speak. Are you a good I, cook? Could you make some? I can cook, yeah. Oh, but when it comes to crafts and things like that, I can do it, but mm. I've got to really kind of... It's not the sort of thing that will make me go, yes, awesome, I'll sit down and do it, and I'll mm. sit there for hours. No, I, I've got to watch a political debate. That's the sort of thing I'm going to go, yes, I'll sit there with a cup of tea for mm. hours. I'm that kind of person, so creativity has not really been my forte or my interest. However... If I was given the choice, I'd probably go for natural things and maybe try and, mm. and make things, mm. even though I know I'm not the best at creating, I think that would be something quite nice because it proves to a person you, 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 you're giving the gift to that actually you spend time doing that Shame we haven't got Jodie in here on her design oh, course. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Watch Jody out, back. everybody of Jodie's family, <laughs> friends, and everybody yeah. else. You might be getting something so, made. But I Christmas. do yeah, admire people who are creative. <laughs> I do. I've always had yeah. a... Or some masking tape. Yeah. <laughs> and screwed up in a ball. <laughs> but, uh, but it's important. I mean, my, my, you know, it's, perhaps it's something that we need to nurture in ourselves, isn't it? Because mm. I remember when I was young, when I was a child, I would, I would sit there and make things for hours. Mm. And maybe that's something that I lost, you know, due to time constraints yeah. and society and this and that and the mm. other. So it's, yeah. But, but made, things that are made mean an awful lot to me. I'd rather have something that someone spent time making mm. to me, for me rather than something that they picked up the school. And maybe it's an opportunity. I know, we know, like, your o, OU studies or your academic studies, but if you're able to get out and about, there might be something local doing... Yeah. ...meeting True. people face-to-face -face, um, if you're feeling isolated. Yeah. And, you know, go to a, a forestry class or a, a knitting class or, or club, something. And the uh, we Yeah, there's the student, yeah. o, student association clubs and, and stuff that you can yeah. get involved in. Very crafty yeah. people. And we've got the meetups as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yes, big shout out to Graham, if Graham is watching. There you oh, go, there's uh, meetups. Oh, Norwich. Oh, good. Right, the Norwich crew, they're meeting up. Um, they're, they're, Graham, I've, I've kind of like taken a step back from from the meetups for various reasons, but Graham's still organising them in Norwich. Uh, they're taking place in various, various locations. Now, meetups are a great opportunity for you to meet other students and sit down and have a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you fancy. They often happen um, um, in places that are, uh, that are quite safe anyway, because hosts understand that they need to be in in, in the areas. Manchester one was in the library recently yeah oh library is a couple good of place. hours uh, but they're also accessible and you can you if you if you if you need access you will have the opportunity to get there that's not a problem um, and obviously check them out go on to the website www.ousstudents.com and then there will be a meetups uh, a link for all you to yeah. follow Societies, um, societies and clubs. Clubs. We've got loads of clubs. Uh, wow, hang on a minute. There's like brilliant stuff now, new stuff that I'm not even aware of. But, um, this yeah. started at conference, didn't it? And I can read some of them and, and I didn't even know they existed, which is fantastic. Um, and if you fancy creating your own, why not? Just yes. have a look and, and see if you want to create your own. The Japan Club. Awesome, I love that. So, last but Lots not least. Lots to do. Don't be alone. Yes. Don't feel isolated. There is support out there. I'll just quickly go back through um, the OU Students Association Peer Support Service. If you're struggling with motivation, lacking confidence, feeling isolated, or just need a few words of encouragement, the peer supporters will be there for you during the holiday season if you need them. The OU Students Peer Support Service remains open throughout the holidays, including Christmas Day. Find out more information and contact peer support. Yeah. And the Big White Wall, a free online resource for all OU students available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It provides a safe and confidential space for you to get things off your chest and to learn to, how to improve and self-manage your mental health and well-being. Um, and more information can be found out if you want to contact that's us fantastic. the OU Students Association. I think, um, I think that's really, really helpful advice and, and certainly I would encourage, as you know, students to, to make those steps. You know, do not be alone ever. Do not. Um, so we're going to probably finish the show on the cracker. We've got one more cracker. Oh. See if come in number 12. There you go. You, oh, yes, I, you I can just, do it It's again. not going to happen, is it? It's so on that note, everybody... 
Goodbye and have Happy a great Christmas. Christmas and Whatever New you Year. get up to, or if you don't celebrate it, just have a great rest. Bye. Take care. Bye. Goodness, see, for my studies now.